ya kwanza alinita kwa ofisi mm. akanilock huko kwa ofisi ndani mm-hmm. alikuwa na anidara nikijivuta ikakuwa mm. sio najua mimi sina nguvu mm. na kuhoteli mm. alikuwa anataka tulele huko nikakataa mm. tukarudi job hiyo hiyo yote like hakuniongelesha mm. eh, kwa kinisumbua mm-hmm. lakini threaten kama sitafanya vile nataka mm-hmm. ananifuta job mm-hmm. na pia nilikuwa naogopa job kama nikifuta job mm-hmm. na wazungu wananitegemea so unaona mm-hmm. yeah. so uh, ulikubali kulala na yeye si kulala na honestly mm-hmm. si kulala nilikataa mm-hmm. akanifuta kazi nikarudi kutika nimekuwa niki struggle na life mm-hmm. sana mm-hmm. like sina hadi place ni za ka mm-hmm. Cause you have the fire and I've got the spark. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, kindly make sure you subscribe. And my name is Prince Narams. Na uh, today I bring you a, a story that is very sad, but at the same time it's a story of hope to many of us out there. A lot of ladies do pass a lot uh, through a lot of things, a lot of challenges, especially what in your medical case, those who are employed. Ladies do suffer a lot because we have monsters na praise wako pale nje. They are just looking for that opportunity when as a pata to maybe get hold of these uh, girls when you go nje. So ladies and gentlemen, without much further uh, stories, today I present to you Uh, a lady who is called Keshi she called me sasita usiku she was crying on the 25th and uh, i saw that it was good for me to share this story with you so that maybe in one way or the other it can be a source of encouragement to one of you out there now see on like you're passing through uh, hell peke a lot of people are suffering out there and maybe in this story itakuwa a wake up call to the young girls when you go go in so she is a source of encouragement and uh, today let us listen to uh, her so that maybe one of you can get motivated uh, abariako charity Masana. maybe you need to introduce yourself so that people can get to know you better and charity mhm unazanisha peke she yeah yeah kwetu ni nyeri nimesomea nyeri nime grow up nyeri Like afu nimekuja nimesomea college huko Thika. Yeah. Alafu after college mm-hmm. niliitwa attachment. Mm-hmm. Place nilienda attachment mm-hmm. manager alikuwa akinikatia. Oh ngoja kwanza before tufike hapo. Uh, umesema ulizaliwa wapi? Nyeri. Ulizaliwa Nyeri. Yeah. Na ume, ume grow ukiwa wapi? Nikiwa tu kwa Nyeri. Tukiwa Nyeri. Yeah. So primary ulisomea wapi? Nimesomea huko Nyeri. Mm-hmm. High school nikienda na Nyuki. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Na college sasa ndio umesomea Thika. Thika. Eh, col- college ni Thika. Mm. Eh, after umetoka college uh, ulienda uh, attachment. Yeah. Wapi? Nilienda huko National Park. Oh, okay. Yeah. So hiyo ndio introduction yako at least people can get to know you better. Mm. So challenges in your work you face kwa life maybe in primary nyumbani ni kama gani? Eh yeah, zimekuwa mengi sana. Mm-hmm. Like Okay tume wazazi wangu yuko well up so mm-hmm. life imekuwa too hard sana. Yeah. Tume grow na mashida mingi tofauti tofauti. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, challenges mm-hmm. imekuwa mingi sana. Mm-hmm. So primary uliposoma uh, school fees ulikuwa unalipia kwa yote ama ulikuwa kunaendaje? Ama time yenyewe iko hii ya, ya fees? Haiko <laughs> ya fees lakini pia kuna zile pesa kidogo kidogo anaitisha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. So kuna story yenye uliko umeniitia and uh, that is the story that umekuleta hapa leo. And uh, ulipotoka college, I want you now to at least get to give our viewers your story, your side of the story so that at least maybe they can hear what you have to say. Ulipotoka college, ukaenda umesoma ulisoma dhika, ukaenda National Park. Uh, was this your first time kufanya kazi? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, ilikuwa the first time. Yes. So ulipofika pale hapo ndo maneno ili change. Yeah, maneno ili change juu. Mm. Manager wako alikuwa ananitaka. So huyu ni manager wa National Park. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. ni hoteli. Ustaz oh. China nikitaja jina. Oh, ni ni ni, ni, ni hoteli huko ndani. Iko ndani ya park ya. Yeah. Oh, so so si 
na, na, national park apana, hotel apana. Okay, yeah, at least hiyo mm-hmm. ni clarify so that uh, mtu asione kama tunampiga ama kitu kama hiyo mm-hmm. so in one of the hotels zenye ziko kwa national park ndo nasema kuna manager yeah mm-hmm. ile hotel yenye sasa nilienda attachment mm-hmm. Eh yeah, manager alikuwa akinikatia mm-hmm. tukakuwa tukisumbuana mm-hmm. alikuwa akinita kwa, kwa ofisi mm-hmm. usiku mm-hmm. ananipia night shift like, mm-hmm. tum, alikuwa ananisumbua sana 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 so Nikuwa in this night shift mlikuwa na shift za asubuhi eh zilikuwa za asubuhi mbona huko mm-hmm. ukipata maybe shift za asubuhi una okay like mm-hmm. alikuwa anataka kupata time na mimi so mm-hmm. the best way ilikuwa ni anipeza jioni tu mm. watu wengi wana wa, walikuwa watu tunapewa watu, watu wachache jioni mm. mm. at least apate kunita kwa ofisi mm. yeah. so that is where life yako ilienda vibaya na did you maybe mwambie utaki nilikuwa nakataa nilikuwa mm. nakataa lakini unajua nilikuwa pia naogopa juu sitaki kupoteza kazi like mm. nile naogopa mm nilikuwa na shindwa nitafanya nini stay kupoteza kazi mm. na pia na okay yeah nilikuwa tu nilikuwa ngumu sana sana maybe unaweza tupatia story utuambie yeah. in one of those occasions vinye kulifanyika okay ilikuwa mm. kuna wa, kuna team mm. alikuwa alini ashaini pelikanga out mm. kwanza alijam sana juu alikuwa anataka tuende sisi wawili peke yake mimi siko na job like ili hape naje na mko kazi alikwambia nataka kupeleka out Alinambia tu nimpeleke ni tu mm. twende mm. like aku niambia kani au tama ni lema tunataka twende please mm. singekata nilikuwa namogopa sana by the way mm. yeah so mm. tulienda nikachukua bishangu wa metu twende twende mm. si tukaenda tukaenda na hoteli mm. alikuwa anataka tulielewe huko nikakataa mm. tukarudi job hiyo hiyo yote like hakuniongelesha mm. eh kwa kinisumbua mm-hmm. lakini threaten kama sitafanya vile nataka mm-hmm. ananifuta job mm-hmm. na pia nilikuwa naogopa juu kama nikifuta job mm-hmm. una wazongo na nitegemea so unaona mm-hmm. yeah. so u- ulikubali kulala na yeye si kulala na honestly mm-hmm. si kulala nilikataa na hizi zilikuwa incidences mingi sana sana si mm-hmm. moja ama mbili mm-hmm. yeah Mm. Ah kwa kinita kwa ofisi anajaribu kunifanyia tabia kunidara mm. mimi kwa ofisi. Yeah. Hii ni night shift. Mm. Aha. Uh-huh. Na nikikataa anakasirika. Mhm. Niongeleshi like unaona ni kama ananipunish yani napewa kazi mingi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So huyu manager alikuwa anakutaka in short. Yeah. Anakuita kwa ofisi. Eh kuna vitu zingine ni ngumu hata kutaja like anakuita kwa kwa ofisi na kudara yeah na nidara alikuwa anataka dini like anataka kulala na mimi kwa ofisi okay si kwa ofisi uh-huh. alikuwa akiniambia twende kwa kiki kwa room juu pia zin tulikuwa tunakaa tu huko kwa hotel ndani mm. yeah <sighs> my views hey, just imagine um you're working somewhere and uh, your manager wants to sleep with you as a, as a, as a woman as in some, some things the other mtu is you can't even think unakuwa blank even in the mind so ulikubali hmm? ulikubali ama a uh, anilikata uh, hmm. hmm. pole asante eh sije kwa na interview ngumu kushinda inashinda hata nikuulize swali gani so ili kujaje okay, like, uh-huh. miss jui but then nashangaa juu mm. imekuwa like ilikuwa ilikuwa ngumu sana kwangu sana mm. eh yeah. alikuwa akinisumbua sana sana mm-hmm. okay ilifika to a point mm-hmm. tena alianza ku, ku buy vitu mm-hmm. ananiletea nikikataa kuchukua shopping yake mm. nikarudi Nairobi nikajaribu ku hustle hustle job nimekuwa niki try ku hustle job alafu bahati mbaya tena mm-hmm. kuna place nili apply kazi mm-hmm. nili huyo huyo ni director huyo director aliniita nika, nikaenda nika travel ilikuwa isiolo mm-hmm. nika travel hadi isiolo nikaenda huyo director ka, alitaka pia ye alifanya tu the same kama wewe manager mwingine alitaka mm. kulala na mimi so nili venye nilikataa pia kulala na yeye akaniambia ni toke so like life yangu imekuwa tu hard na shangaa nitafanya nini kwa nini kwa na bahati mbaya ajis mm-hmm. si levi kabisa nimetry like hadi kwenda church kujaribu kuongea na 
fathers nimekuwa mm-hmm. nikitrai sana na kwa kanisa hujasaidiwa well kuna nilienda mm-hmm. but yeah nimekuwa nikiombea wa father amenyombea mm-hmm. yeah. waombi tu yeah. akuna akuna msaada mwingine kuomba tu yeah. i'm sorry if i make this statement nimesikia vibaya sana acha tunisimeke acha tunisimeke lakini mwarevu wa mbivi nimeshindwa atakongea like unaenda kwa kanisa kusaidiwa wanakupea maombi shwali maombi tu unaenda kwa kanisa kusaidiwa wanakupea maombi walikupatia maybe kitu ya kula maybe sayo huko kazi au kulipia ta rent maombi tu pasta nifadha But what is happening to your rent right now? Okay, imekuwa. Mm-hmm. Una unaweza kumbuka kuna siku nili happen kufanya nilitafuta namba yako online. Mm. Iliona ulikuwa kuna ile ile video nilipata. Yeah, you are Esther. Mm. Mm. Yo, kuna ile yo date change. Ile kwa 24 nilikukall sana. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you got us on 25th. It was 24th, yes. Mhm. Nilikuwa nimelala kwa street so nilikuwa na stress sana. Nilikuwa akiamua siku nilikuwa na stress. Mhm. Jo one thing was wrong with their food. Kabisa jo pia sisi was wrong to the ship kwa kwa wenyewe kwa boma ya wenyewe. Eh. So nimekuja huku at least ni jaribu 1 2 3 naweza kusaidia wazazi wangu. Yeah. You know it's like in Lilala kwa street. Mm. Mm. That night 24. Yeah, ile school ile mpaka sana ni usiku. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she called me mara mingi sana usiku. I usually don't pick calls at night. So she called like a big a big. Eh nikasema huyu nani ananisumbua hivi. I I picked the call and then there she was akani akaniambia alikuwa analia you are actually cry. Yeah. So when I was in Lala Inje, nini nini, tuka, the only money I had, I only had 500 bob to come to the lodging. She slept in Lala Lodging. Mm. Yeah, no, I can't remember the picture to make sure you are mm. So right now you are living with your friend. Yeah. And she also told me that it's not easy. Yeah, we're going to struggle a lot. Yeah, yeah. 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 So ladies and gentlemen, I think we have come to the end of this encouraging but at the same time very sad interview. If you are there unaweza msaidia. Atujaomba pesa, atukuombi pesa, tunakuomba kazi. But at the same time najua kuna kona vitu kama rent, unaweza msaidia. I will make sure. Hmm? Mali penye naweza kusaidia na kusaidia. I'll, I'll make sure please neza kusaidia na kusaidia I know next month ndiyo ndakuwa niko sawa but for this month mtu tu mwajatu waneza tu jitokeza tu for this month only I'm saidia before maybe nikuwe sawa naomba tu hivo so we are come to the end of this one if you are new on this channel kindly subscribe comment and share na usaidia but uh, ni mshindo kitu kusema so thank you guys for everything na tunawapenda sana have a lovely time bye cuz you have the fire and i've got the spark